this looks like a healthy flock. But if you really want to know what's going on within the birds, you need veterinary oversight. This is a service which is provided by GVP Emmen of Gerwin Bauhuis here in the Netherlands. A veterinary monitoring in our way means that you are coming on the farm in a regular way, so every week, every two weeks, and then you're going to look for, of course, for the health of the chickens, but also animal welfare. It's also looking for climate, for feed, for all conditions uh, here where the animals are being uh, kept in. Why uh, would a broiler farmer choose to have this service? So, so I think the main goal uh, for the farmer and, and the veterinarian is that you uh, agree about a, a specific uh, target, which means uh, slaughter weight. So you want to try that the chickens are growing according to a specific curve, not, not more, not less, not more, but especially according to this curve, growing to their slaughter weight. And this is the optimal growing curve, which is also a guarantee for, or almost a guarantee for a good feed conversion, which is quite important for our boilers. I can imagine you want to ensure overall health of the flock, or even increase the health status of the flock. Uh, what tools do you use to, to ensure that? So what is very important is uh, in the start the hygienic uh, level on the farm, so we have to clean and disinfect the house very well. We can monitor this. Uh, furthermore, you have to do with the quality of the DO chickens, so we can check the DO chickens for, for the health. Uh, furthermore, they grow in an environment, so the climate should be optimal. We are also measuring uh, several parts, uh, several aspects of the, the climate. I can show you, for example, the, the device we use, the temperature, humidity, CO2, and so on. Um, and furthermore, we also check for the feed and for the drink water quality. If, if necessary, we take samples and we can bring it to our lab, and our people from the lab can uh, analyze several aspects to say, well, this is good, this is not good and how to improve. Mm -hmm. How do you record the data and process it? Um, yeah, if you agree about a specific level at slaughter weight, then they have to uh, go according a specific curve. We can put this curve into a program in the computer. The data from the broiler, they can also put into this computer. It's automized. automatized. I can uh, get it on my cell phone. I can uh, see it with a specific uh, login. So the farmer has access to the system and we has have access to the same system and then we can monitor every day what is the water intake, what is the water feed ratio and so on. Uh, when you have results from a farm, how does the feedback uh, look like to the farmer? So the monitoring uh, on the farms is going to be translated to an advice to the farmer. We do it as we as have been visiting a farm, so immediately by phone or by WhatsApp. Uh, if he has to do a specific thing accurately at that moment, um, we also bring some samples to our laboratory and then we wait for the results and the results will be published to the farmer by email or also by, uh, by phone if it is more uh, complicated. Mm -hmm. And w will there be a direct advice, uh, like, okay, increase this, do that, uh, more practical? There's different types of uh, advice. We can advise the farmer to do something immediately because it needs uh, help at the moment because there's something wrong at that moment. Uh, sometimes you are uh, aware of a problem which is uh, seeing flock after flock. So maybe they should do something uh, in the downtime to clean it, or disinfect it in a different way. Maybe they should change the coccidiostat in the feed. Maybe they should change their, uh, their coccidiosis. They can vaccinate against coccidiosis or change their uh, vaccination program. Do you include other parties than the farmer as well? Do you, for instance, include the feed manufacturer in your uh, feedback loop as well? Yes, yes. Uh, on this farm where we are now, the advisor from the, the hatchery and from the feed mill, they are also included in all the... Uh, we have a WhatsApp group and they are all informed about specific findings. The other way around too, if the, the advisor from the feed mill is visiting the farm, they also will tell me immediately what is uh, being seen over that moment and what's his opinion about that. Can you tell me something about the importance of openness and trust between all parties involved? Yeah, that's always... Uh, sometimes it's a discussion on the farm, how open should you be? I think you should open, be open to anybody, because you can learn from each other. And if you are not open, you cannot learn. You just can blame somebody, but you're not aware about what's happening over there. So if you are open, uh, the other one will be open too. And then you can improve uh, the management level on your farm 
because of learning. Yes. So in the end, it's, it's working together which makes a difference into the future. Uh, yeah, communication and working together is the future. Yeah.